Good evening. Welcome to Team Fortress TV. We've got a really cool game here tonight with 4G and Ascent. Two best teams in NA right now playing on Sunshine. we got some cool things to talk about here, so I want to segue quickly. we got Marble on camera tonight, and my co-caster is the illustrious Buick. Uh, thank you, thank you. Feeling good tonight, brother. Hope you're doing well. I ate Wendy's today, so I'm maybe good is not the right term, but <laughs> I'm happy. You're, 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 yeah, you know, you're happy and you got some in your belly, so here you go. But, uh, so, we'll go over the rosters real quick here, because we want to segue into something pretty cool later. So, I'll talk about 4G first, our perennial champions at this point. They've been, uh, they've been winning so long, I can't remember the last time it didn't happen, but mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was at least two years ago, maybe. So, we got... Oh, wow. Yeah, we got Clockwork and Banny on Scout. We have a Blaze and Servo, I imagine, playing our soldiers. Servo subbing in for a little Lansky. Shade is on a Medic. And, of course, Do What Non Demo. So mm -hmm. there's that a contemporary of mine who's risen to the... The highest level of the TF2. The highest levels in TF2, but uh, joining them there, uh, we'd like to think so, uh, is our, our friends at BFNS Railroads, Railways, excuse me. So, uh, medic-wise, Nick the Fragile Leon has been having that heel beam healing people since 1992. You know, he's been doing it forever. Nothing to say there. Uh, Mr. Decimate, scout partner, um, he himself... Uh, will be going with uh, Badonski as his demo. Mela and Rando as um, the roaming soldier, pocket soldier combo. You know, uh, definitely Rando being a nice upgrade from where they were last season. And because of that, their record definitely shows. Ascent, actually, when you look at the top of standings in ESEA right now, Ascent is up at number one spot. So, you know, it's kind of funny to see that. Um, now, given that is based off a of 4G forfeit loss, but uh, we did see these two teams play before, and it was on Badlands, and it was a hell of a, hell of a match. You remember that? Yes, it was, it was quite close. 4G came away with it in the end, so we'll see how it goes. Ascent actually struggled on, I mean, you can only call it struggling on this map last night. But uh, 4G struggled against the Grime. They they the were grime. in dire straits against the Grime at one I, point. Dude, I've seen the Grime is like the butt of 4G's joke. So I've seen like whenever they're like streaming and playing like you know one of the lower invite teams, uh, like their inside joke is from what I've seen from like Shade is that they just call all of them collectively the Grime. And lo and behold, the Grime was slapping them around a little bit last night. So uh, now could that be the map? Could it be just trying to get stuff with Servo? Uh, we we don't know what it is, but needless to say, 4G looked uh, not as tight as usual last night. So uh, both these teams having a little trouble uh, last night, now going against each other. So this is the second time, as we mentioned, that they're facing each other this season. 4G got a close one earlier, and you know that's been on a sense mind, that they won an opportunity of revenge. Weeks later, here we are. Yep, and to segue into our next little bit before we go live... Mm -hmm. So this uh, map will be played in Europe. Yes, for whichever of the teams that go. So hopefully, our boys figure it out. Yeah, yeah, it will be. They're not going to be able to dodge that map. Like you know, uh, excuse me. Ascent has been historically good on this map, but you know they're just having a little bit of trouble this season. We'll see if that works out. But on what you mentioned, both these beautiful teams. Um, you guys, listen, we're sending these boys to Europe. Both of these teams, literally the top two teams we can offer as Americans. And you want to see them on the final stage against each other again. I'm sure we all do. You know, sorry, you know, sorry, you, but uh, we're, we're thinking that's maybe potentially going to happen. But these guys do need your help still. Uh, they both teams do have their fundraisers to help, you know, help some costs. You know, they already have graciously, they're going to put all the money that they get from this season, which is, you know, towards their funds to go there. But the donations really do help. It is at i55.tf. I know all 12 of these players, even the ones who are potentially maybe not going, you know, they would love your help. So just check out those fundraisers i55.tf Yeah, we don't have a 1-800 number, but uh, it's, you know, it's the best we got. And we're live, so it's going to start here. Ascent yesterday had a lot of trouble with their mids, yes. but, uh, you know, being as the grime was 
really sticking it to 4G. I can't imagine they did a lot better. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. So we'll see what happens in there. Um, we'll open up with the demo man, you know, as per usual. We'll see who kind of gets there, throws down the damage first. But Dante comes in, throws a nice sticky to the Dewatna's left. Dewatna can't walk over there. The scouts have to take a little second to clear that out. So the scouts kind of got slowed down. There was a really good sticky on that part. Red soldiers this time taking their own roof. Mela jumping heavy. Servo playing passive. And Shade kind of hiding back in the corner there. They're underneath. They lose their demo. But Donsky, they traded for Clockwork. Could be an even trade. You don't know here. Uh, Dewatna. Dewatna goes down second. Red is kind of pushing them through Cafe. They need to be careful here and uh blue's just kind of putting their tail between their legs they're gonna back out now especially if servo going down here it's just blaze blaze his buddy banny up any of those frags they may have to fall out of two now because they kept both their players up and red decided to put 6x on the point uh blue's gonna be able to hold two here uh what do you think do you think they're gonna maybe hold hold forward a little bit with one of their soldiers or yeah they're gonna go into a standard forward position i was actually really confused to see that uh that six-man cap there. I yeah. guess they just really wanted forward spawns since uh, spawns are better for blue with them out at two the way mm -hmm. they were. So you don't want that to to accrue against you. Now we've got... They're, they're actually holding on the restaurant, cafe, whatever you want to call it, with a sniper in Decimate. Decimate, very well known for his head shooting capabilities. Mm -hmm. Servo's just spamming him though, so we'll see how deep they can get him in here and if anything terrible happens to anyone else on the flanks so while held this uh, slow roll to get your sniper some vision occurs. Yeah, he ends up thinking Servo, but, uh, you know, n n nothing he can't survive as long as it's not a headshot. So uh, Servo's going back, he's just getting his buff up right now. Now they all know that they have a sniper over there. Um, I guess it's forcing them to play a little different right now. They, they're, they're not standing where they like to. You can definitely tell from Blue's defensive hold here that they're definitely afraid as hell of Decimate, and I would be too. Clockwork's kind of peaking, but, you know, uh, he's, he's given Decimate more chance than I'd like to see. So you don't usually see a sniper pushed up this far without any sort of pressure. There was a little bit to begin with. But look where he is right now. God, he, oh, he has a clean shot on Duwatna. Whiffs that one. So now, because of that, Blaze trades of Rando. He gets a headshot on Duwatna. Mela goes down. Uh, Class-wise, right now, with a demo of medic, a sniper, and a scout, they're going to have to move out because I, I don't want that against two scouts and a soldier. I think you have to defend the middle point right here and expect them to move in, go for a pick there. Yeah, you gotta, the only way this turns out well for Ascent is if their sniper can get a kill here, which is possible, but it's not happening yet. They're going to lose Servo as 4G and they're Ubered on the point. The Uber is not out yet from Ascent, so... That's the disaster zone. The Rockets try to get shade. There he goes. Blaze and Banny are down as well. Ground taking Banny's life. We got a fight here over in the flank. Clockwork down. A little bit of damage onto Fragile, but it'll all be okay. And they're just going to go straight into the rocket room here at last. Yeah, I think they should. They need to watch out. The one has Sticky's there. He needs to be careful. Oh, geez. A little bit of damage, but that's fine. Uh, Nick needs to stay on his soldier. Uh, excuse me, the Fragile. He's coming up with his gun out. They're just going to start capping the point. 4X on it. 1 0. -oh. 1-0 to Ascent, just like that. You know, we saw him win the mid, we saw a little bit of a fight in two, and then Ascent kind of just forced Blue to uber poorly. Yep, and they, they managed to get their sniper having a kill, and it was a good kill. It was on the Duwatna, so mm -hmm. that, as long as you manage to snatch that there, the sniper doesn't hurt you as bad, but it's a pretty big gamble. So uh, with the sent up one nothing, we'll see if blue changes there. They did kind of get boned last middle. They couldn't really get out. Yeah, on that note, Shade's coming out right now. He's he's moving forward with his class. He's taking a little bit of damage, but uh, Red has the high division right now. Blaze and Rando playing the old whoopsie daisy game. Blaze goes down really low, but on the other side of the map, Shrugger and Mela both going down. Badonski needs to get a kill here on there. He does. Oh, geez, another follow up with uh, Decimate here, and it's Decimate versus Banny. Decimate takes him out. Uh, they are alive with the fragile, so it's a uh, demo, a soldier, and a medic against uh, scouted demo and medic. I think if red was in a little bit better position, I'd kind of make them go for this. And they are anyway, look at the scout going in. Uh, Blue does get their Uber. Uh, red isn't close at all. If they force out the Uber and Fragile's still close without getting his, it's gonna be bad. Dewatna goes down, here comes the Uber on Blue. This is a poor Uber. Look at this, Fragile's gonna be able to get his Uber charge and they're gonna move back in just in time for the Blue players to get here too. So hopefully everybody gets out from Blue and they play smart. Yeah, Shade was really paranoid there. He popped his Uber, turned right around, and ran away. I want to give some shout-outs to the Fragile there. He had some pretty nice arrow hits through that. He hit uh, Duwatna standing on the point and took him down to 40 health. Oh, yeah. And then during the mid, he arrowed Decimate when he should have died. Oh, unfortunate. But Don Servo, the Chaos Pocket, manages to get 
Badonski there, so that's going to weaken your push quite a lot here. Yeah, they had to but pop they've already seeded high ground. Yeah, so they've seeded the high ground. Uh, Red's not close, in, or Blue's not close enough to the Uber to get this, but uh, they kind of lose one too many people. Rando may be able to get a frag here, but no. Uh, you know, the, the, the Fragile didn't have vision, Scout flanks him, and just like that, the combo's down. Um, kudos to Servo right there. Not only did he kill Badonski, but he also popped the Uber. And it's one of those Ubers where you're in cafe and you have to Uber there, and if you're more or less Ubering to save your players, but then it's just like, oh god, we need to go try to get some kills. And they were very overzealous. They moved in and got punished for it. Yep, and they had nice position up top, but they never really moved any further forward. Flank onto the mid here. He's down. No more shade. Nice oh, job goodness. from Mela. The flank was completely open, and he just wandered forward and uh, got himself a med pick, and that's pretty common on this map. Yeah, no, it's a really nice pick right there. Kind of, kind of lets you breathe a little easier, especially with Clockwork going down and Servo right afterwards. Like uh, our our old Railway boys, they're gonna move in. They're moving in the middle, and they, they 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 want some frags. They got a little bit of blood in their eyes. Look at Shrugbug looking all around. Oh, and ends up picking a, a pistol kill on Banny. Has to feel good for your psyche. So uh, Shade's all alone on point two. He's got to back out right now. He's got to meet up with somebody. Uh, Servo. Clockwork takes at Badonski in a one on one. Now comes Rando. Ooh! Rando plays you, but I'm going to shot you twice, switch to my rocket launcher, and finish you off game. So uh, it's always a fun game. Yeah, Giggly, definitely a proponent of that behavior. Duana yeah. made a pretty. Uh... Well, a regrettable decision at best with his uh, jumping forward to, into a scout, but his team still has Uber, so they'll probably go just as soon as he arrives uh, at the station here. Mm -hmm. No off classes yet for 4G at last either. No, Servo's kind of standing up above. Uh, Melee's peeking. If Melee goes down, it's going to be quite bad. He did not need to die there. One, there's always stickies there. A demo man's watching there first and foremost. Two, you don't need to do that. As we do speak, though, look at Obanny. If you're a fan of uh, Grant Vincent, per se, he's up on the heavy man, you know, he's getting his buffs, gonna see how good his skulk tracking is uh, as everybody moves in, but uh, speaking of that, the red team, they're not really moving in. Uh, you know, they're just kind of waiting for Badonski to come back again, and uh, hopefully he doesn't get picked this time. Yeah, that was a series of regrettable decisions in lobby that resulted in you blowing your Uber advantage. I, I do, that, that might have been like between a 70 and 80% advantage too, that's got to be painful. Yeah, that's uh, it's gonna make life a lot more difficult. Clockwork is now on sniper, so nice play from 4G to kind of get into them because a lot of teams are very confused about how to get into and hold this lobby area because it's it's a lot of space to hold. I know a lot of people haven't uh, probably played it recently, but there was that one map they really liked in Europe with the middle and the health pack in the air. I can't remember its name right now. Maybe you remember it, Butte. But that last Nothing. had like five doors. A lot and, of places to push. Uh, it was really difficult to get into lobby and not have the other team have some sort of shenanigan plan to deal with you. Mm -hmm. Kind of like where Shade's holding right now. I'm a proponent of this. He's kind of holding down there close, keeping everybody buff. You can keep everybody buff there pretty easily, too. Um, at this point in time, really holding last here, as long as you don't lose a few people before you defensively uber and get everybody covered, it, you, you should, on paper, you should be able to win that fight. So I'm, I'm not against him standing there. Yeah, we got uh, the Decimate Counter Snipers trying to do stuff here. Single debt sticks over the top of the right side door, or left side, depending on your perspective. And uh, I'm trying to track down... Yeah, he's just standing outside right now. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, him versus Clock. They're up one nothing. They're not that eager to push in. You know, hey, I'll tell you what, though. Badonski stayed alive for a lot longer than he has been, so uh, that, that's always good off the ha offhand. Uh, Clockwork... Oh, jeez, that makes it with a no-scope and almost hit him there. Uh, Clock needs to be careful. He's taking a little bit of damage. Uh, he's backing out. That's gonna do it! Oh, with Dewana going down. Decimate cam. Here we go. Here comes the solo Uber in so far. Probably gonna keep it a solar. Shade has to... Shade gets bounced. He does not multi the Uber yet. This is good. Red has nobody following up this Uber. I think that maybe just like a let's pop Shade Uber, yeah, but uh, the only problem is Fragile does get caught down below. The Calvary is here and then getting a frag on Servo. They may be able to heal up and move in here. There's a few blue people dead. Um, Servo, oh, Blaze going down too. There's no soldiers here as long as Melee can kill Clockwork. Oh, Clockwork! Dirty, dirty, dirty! Not, he, Melee had like three rockets in close range and he should have easily won that. Didn't get to. Clock gets the medic. And uh, our uh, Froyo Tech boys have now capped their second point. Yeah, really nice play there from Shade too. Blaze was over on the left side. Servo wanted his blood and... Uh, he didn't get it because Shade flashed him when he had 11 health left. 
So, pretty pretty nice heads up play there. We should see some sort of transition fight here. I don't mind poking in here because you know 4G doesn't have Uber yet. And so you don't want to give this up necessarily. Clockwork for rando trading, but Blaze also dead. That's now you're careful though because you know they've got Uber or they're close to it. So you've got to deal with stuff. Everybody's dying around Shade though and he's down. So what, Shade, really what are you good. doing? What, what, Pocketbook. I, I, Oh no! Like that's a that, that's a. We don't like to see that. I, I I actually feel bad. I feel I feel bad after watching that happen. Literally, I up in your upper right kill feed, you just see four people instantly die. Shade being the last one. No good. Clockwork trying it again. He takes down the soldier. He finally gets taken out. Jeez, that could have been bad. But honestly, gonna roll in with their Uber. They're on 89. They may just be able to roll this in. There is a heavy. That's problematic. I'd say they probably just need to go up now. Two people still down. As long as they focus the heavy, shouldn't they be able to get this? I think if there's a proper flash. Oh. The demo man goes down. Here we got a little chariot Uber right here. Uh, Shade does not have his. As long as they focus targets, they should be fine. Shade smartly goes back into spawn. A fail push from our Ascent boys. Yeah, as soon as they lost Badonsky, there wasn't a whole lot you could do there. So you see Soldier just jumps forward to try and <laughs> kill. Yeah, he was way up. And that's something you can do on this map, too, because the team, they don't like peeking into that doorway now that those barrels and stuff are there. And so the heavy is just chilling right there. You roll around the corner and you're a half inch away from a heavy. He just says, what's good, and throws you back up into the sky. Oh, he does. It was nasty. He, so he died so quickly, too. Like, I saw Fragile try to cover all three of his people with a multi-Uber, and just the heavy does that much damage when you're literally, you know, uh, ten hammer units away from him. He just, what else can you do? What else can you do? Uh, there's an Uber in here. Shade's kind of leading his people in. Uh, doesn't really, they kill Mela, but I think he was kind of behind. Uh, th this Uber is a more or less, we're going to cap midpoint Uber. Uh, Mela was kind of a free giveaway pick there. He's going to spawn in time, probably for them to fight with him at two, including the fact that Red has their Uber. Yeah, now if you're 4G, you've got a decision. You're either going to back away from this Uber, which you can do because the midpoint's big, or you can sally forth on the second and try to pop their Uber there and then use your respawn advantage at the very big mid that we have here. It looks like 4G's opting to stay back. Shade stays back too, but he gets bombed. Banny's gonna go down to the double donk. Blaze is done too. That's really all you need if you're BNSF Railways, but they're moving up. And here we go. Soldiers coming in there. Duwatna's gonna go down. Up here fighting on the top, also dead, is Servo to decimate. Shade, only guy alive again. Banny comes up heavy, but comes back scout. He might have to make a great big stand here. Yeah, hard to fight him on top of those those barrels there. Yep, he ends up going in. It's only it's the Shade. They get the Uber, finally. They're going to be able to block the point enough. I'd be bouncing him off. And blow the stickies! The medic's Ubered. He's literally going to fly off of the point. You've got to blow those stickies. They could have capped it there. And it doesn't matter. They get it anyway. So uh, all's well that ends well for our uh, Ascent boys. Up two to nothing right now. So uh, on, I don't know, man. If you if you're Froyo right now, who's who's got to play big this mid? Does, does somebody have to not die, or does somebody have to get a pick? What's that? What's the story? Yeah, the what's happening at these mids is a lot of players are getting turned around by Mela wandering into the flank, and you don't really need that many people to get all uptight about Mela's positioning. So here we go, we're bombing in onto the top. Rando and Mela down. Shrugger is going to go down too. Bane and Clockwork trading out on the side. It's 3v3. I'd give it to BNSF right now because they have a scout, and scout is really good at mid. That is uh, what I've been told. But he's going to get donked out! Oh no. I do what not. So it's only Badonsky left here. Going to give the mid to 4G. Spawns aren't really fast enough. I don't think we're going to be able to uh, have a refight here. No, I don't think so either. Uh, I fried, like Fresh I went, was kind of in the same position as he had his little saw kill on Dingo last night. Uh, kind of reminded me of that. He ended up going down, going for the saw this time, though. So uh, he is back up, meeting with his uh, comp compatriots. And uh, they're just going to probably try to pop Blue coming in right now. You know you have to. Uh, Blue is going to be smart. They're going to go through Panera Bread. Uh, they're kind of buffing up their soldier. Oh, Sir, Sir going to go for a suicide there here? Or maybe a solo Uber? I'm not really sure the tactics they're thinking. Uh, yeah, they're going through flank now, and they're going to Uber a bunch of people. Oh, Vanny what? goes down to a fragile arrow. Don't want to stand still against him, I guess. 
Soldiers are getting in lobby. They're trying to spam them out so they can't rotate. Gotta shut down the shutter door here. Soldier's trying to make his way out. Servo's gonna go down. Soldier comes in from underneath, fighting a scout inside the lighthouse. That's Mela there. Little bit of spam onto the med. They're fighting back across. Scout's running forward. Soldier trapped out on the right. We're gonna have an Uber fight here. Blaze is gonna go down too. There goes the Uber. Shade. And uh, here we go. Yeah, but, but they're, Nick's cover. Excuse me, Fragile's covering people perfectly right now. They actually may be able to kill Shade with this if they roll in. No, he has he has his folks here. Oh no, he is banning everybody. Oh, Rando. I don't think Rando knew there was that many people in middle. He kind of got punished for that. Blue's <laughs> health is really bad right now. If there was some sort of follow up. So uh, with even Ubers, uh, Servo going down for Badonski. I think this is actually. Oh, clock. There's not off, you don't see that. Clockwork lost a legitimate even 1v1 to Shrugger. Shrugger just put one, two shots into him, and it's a done deal right there. So, uh, followed up with the Blaze kill. Uh, they're they're going to be able to cap mid here. Yeah, definitely. They're already moving up. Look where the uh, look where Shrugger. Shrugger's kind of scouting out, seeing if maybe Blue's going to go for any uh, sneaky plays on two. Uh, the players there miss each other, and they're just going to all cap mid. Yeah, Benny's up on Sniper right now, and he's in forward spawn. He's running out now, going to Shutter Door. So, gonna try and uh, pull a fragile, but with a headshot. See if he gets it there. Nope. Clock was going for a pick too, and he almost got taken out again. He's gotta be careful. Fragile goes down from Duwat in a sticky trap? Oh no, that's gonna be bad. They gotta go in right now and cause some trouble with Shade, or otherwise they're gonna lose there too. This is. No, they can't even. Like, they're having trouble with the last push, and next time they didn't even get to try it, you know? I'm surprised that. Uh, is it just because a numbers game? Is that why Blue isn't really playing out right now? Yeah, the, when you're two down, it's pretty hard to cover all the space because there are so many doors to get in right now. They're working in through under, it looks like, though. They're going to pull back. Shrugger scares them and gets Shade. Oh, my God, Shrugger. So, Damn, he's carried it over from last night. Last night in his $5 club, he was going massive in a lot of plays, and he's definitely playing up a vengeance right now. Uh, Clock ends up taking down Mela. Uh, they're still holding defensively. Um, what? Uh, do you think the sentry gun, is, is that going to help these guys right now? Uh, well, they need to figure out a way to get more players because they're two down now. Decimate's going to go out. That's sort of a tit-for-tat suicide sort of situation. Since you're out here, you know they're not going to move against you if you have more players than they do, e or if it's even. So just throw Decimate in there. If he gets a kill, then you push last kind of situation. Mm -hmm. We do have Uber advantage for Fragile, but so far the medics here have... <laughs> Their lives have been a little bit on on tap for our scout players. They know that gun is there. There's a scout gets completely blasted by it. I know. But uh, it's okay. No sticks on the point. It's capping out quick. Uh, Vanny comes up heavy out of the shutter door. He's getting some cannonballs launched at him. Fragile's going to go down. Oh, Shade! I think that was a drop C sound. I'm not sure, though. Vanny... He's trying to do this oh, on his God, own and kill everyone. He does. Those two frags. If, if he would have went down there, Shade, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. At the beginning of the fight, I saw he's on like 70%. It was long enough where I'm pretty sure he had it. That's unfortunate. Uh, he's got a, I don't know if, uh, Banny goes out for a 1v1 on Shrug. Did you see that? Banny comes out to try to get the point by himself. Maybe he's just frustrated, riding high off the fact he just, you know, saved last. Shrugger came up to him and just said, get off my effing point and kind of, kind of punched him a little bit, you know, the proverbial punch with the scattergun bullets. So, um, right here, they're kind of a little trouble. Shrugger goes out, uh, ends up dying. Clockwork on the other side, though, trades a trade-off. So, uh, they get 20% advantage, you know, 19% advantage. Maybe this time they'll be able to move in and, uh, not let Banny cycle, like, five different times and come up, uh, as heavy eventually. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, it's, and you can see right now, Ascent, uh, it's a little nerve-wracking to try and hold in here. And you got your medic running all around because it, it's there's just a bunch of doors. I'm still trying to remember the name of that map. It's really bothering me. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know it. Yeah, so there there's now a push going. Blaze is gonna die. So you just kind of collect yourself, go go get arrowed a few times, and we'll be good to go. So Rando's gonna go in pretty bad health. No yeah. gun this time. Uber exchanged on last. Fragile staying in. That's He's kind of looking back, like, "Where's, where's my team?" Team Banny's gonna get taken down there from uh, Shades getting bounced up in the air. One rocket, Shades on 60 hit points needs to be careful. Red is on the point. They're just aggressively going on this. <laughs> Fragile ends up going down. They need some kind of garbage pick. Nobody can get it because when you're six players down, there's nobody left. Imagine that. So, uh, uh, 
I don't like Fragile committing there because it almost seemed like the uh, Rand. Let's put it this way: they Rando need. They knew it was Uber v Uber. Yes, they are up a person, but the Uber started with Rando at about half health. Like that's not gonna. You can't have that. You just need to take one extra second, buff up Rando, uh, because Rando was so low. Fragile kind of felt obligated to stick with him, maybe give him more healing during the Uber, which entail in turn made him go in way too deep. Um, you know, blue cleans it up, and they're on their two again. Uh, another fail, last push. Hmm. Yeah, and they have Uber ready to come out here. We do have a sniper in uh, Decimate as usual. He's watching choke. But we have scouts coming out of the bread bowl. Servo's gonna go down and from the flank side to a sniper. Uber scout into the opposing cafe here, and Fragile's Fragile. gonna go down to Clockwork. Yeah. So there you have it. Good Uber. And the follow up, Banny goes down. Like I'm surprised actually. Fragile is in that position, knowing like I know he's keeping track of Ubers. Like 4G is not dumb. Yeah, sometimes when Ubers, it's a matter of like two seconds whether you get the Uber or not. Jesus, <laughs> funny decimate going for the close range doesn't end up getting it. Gets a cannonball in the gullet because of it. And um, yeah, yeah. It's, I, Fragile should not. I don't know if he really wanted to be in cafe there. Uh, 4G. I could totally see uh, Clockwork just calling for that Uber, realizing that Fragile doesn't have his yet. Fragile ends up going down. Um, and because of that 40% advantage for blue, uh, the tables are turned now. Blue is going to be moving into two. Uh, still don't have any pick classes. We did. Decimate came back up as scout this time. Uh, you, I, I'd love to see, I don't know, are they going to hold two passively? Are they going to try to, they know they're at uber disadvantage. Where, where do you see them doing it? Where do you see them holding? Yeah, they, they should mainly just try to, to get this force and then come back through some one of your multitude of doors that get you back in but they're actually taking a very long time they're coming through the flank you probably could have sacked into them there to get the uber out early given how close your uber is but they're just gonna back away right now i don't know if they're gonna try to come back out fighting down below they're gonna have to pop the uber shrugger's gonna go down servo finally trades out here we're now f making our way out here you're gonna badonski's gonna go down not good. The BNSF oh, no. team is getting reverse picked left and right. Yeah, they need a really big play here. Ran, uh, Melo can't go back. Melo needs to stay up here, go for the medic, or try to do something. Uh, they're just down too many people. Um, do you think Blue actually just rolls in here, or they wait for the Uber? I think they should oh, roll yeah. in. They're going to roll in right now, which we've seen that actually be bad. They don't have Uber. Uh, I think they're actually going to think, think twice about it and uh, perhaps just wait for their charge and move in. Uh, this does give Red a little time to everybody get everybody's health up. Maybe uh, set up in some uh, little sneaky defensive positions, uh, even get somebody ready to cycle. But uh, no, looks like they're just going standard right there. Rando pushes up way too far. You're just taunting to Watna to do that. Mela's going to go to try to get a pick here. Um, we do hear the pyro action. He ends up rotating. Blue is too many on the point right now, unless Red could block it. Abadansi kills Shade there. Decimate goes down. Nah, the two scouts are alive still. There was two people on fire, but uh, being on fire does not stop you from capping the control point. Yeah, a subtle thing in TF2. Mm -hmm. Now, these three rounds we've played have taken quite some time, so we got six minutes and about 30 seconds left, so that'll determine can we get a tie game going into halftime, or are we going to ta tap it out with three wins for a cent? So, got another mid coming up here. Jumping right side, both teams. Oh, big, <laughs> nasty rocket on the melee, I think, there. Banny and Servo are both going to go down. Shrugger and Rando trade out. Not really what you want to see, but so much positioning has been bought. I don't know if it's going to matter. Well, yeah, it did. They fed really hard, and Fragile goes down. Yeah, uh, for some reason, Badonski was, like, moving up to where... De so Decimate died in uh, 4G's flank against three people. Um, I could maybe hear him calling for help, and, like, Badonski decided to move up to go help him, and when Badonski did that... Guess who was still alive? Blaze. And guess where he was? One foot away from Fragile. Bounced him up in the air. Uh, you know, one, two shot, done deal. Red is without their medic. Um, they need some big plays here again, or we're just going to see a repeat of last round. Um, you know, Rando going down again. This literally, this is a repeat of last round. Right before they pushed in, they pushed off Rando going down. So, uh, they, they, um, oh, Jesus, pushed up early. Decimate can't get really any picks. Shruggers kind of goes down, too. The Uber does come out. Look at that. Decimate with a little bit of heroic play here. Blaze moving in. You see where he's hanging out? He's just trying to spam a little bit. He's not jumping in. 
Red is going to get uh, maybe enough spawns in time. No, they're going to just get forced. They're getting back into the corner. This is one of those situations where you feel safe when you're back in the corner like that. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a wall between the point and where you are. So uh, they do end up getting two spawns. Shrugger takes out a person. Fragile got his revenge. He's so weak right now. He's looking him behind that barrel and he's giving cannonball. Decimate on the point. Melee goes down. Somebody's just going to walk on the point, breathe on it. Two to two. Two to two. Yeah, um, wanting on shade there with that ending 2v2. Yeah, do you think, like, you think Frogatech's waking up a little bit? Like, you know, the, I mean, the, the, they did end up winning that middle. Um, Fragile kind of got hung out to dry, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. But, uh, you know, middle-wise, I kind of want to see, like, Ran I kind of want to see maybe a bigger play from uh, Rand and Melee. They're kind of just getting caught up and uh, spammed to death on top of their own little roof right there. So uh, they're doing the same thing again. One jump, and nope, they, they, Rando did not jump this time, which could be good. Instead, he takes the church this time, sees Clockwork up there, hits, oh, a lot of damage onto those 4G scouts. Rando throwing down some very good rockets. Melee goes down, but that's fine because there's so much damage onto Blue, thanks to Rando that middle, that they got to back out. Decimate cannot chase right here. Okay, whew. I thought he was going to chase, and every time he chases in this little corner here, he gets a cannonball in the face, and then they end up being down a person. So, uh, oh, he wants to go in. Oh, look at that. He's chomping at it right now. Rando's at 300. He hears some people getting banned. He's getting sticked by Badonsky over there. That's kind of a hilarity ensues. Per hey, Rando at 9 hit points needs some health. Uh, Decimate going down. Red's health is pretty bad. I don't think Blue knows this, or they may challenge this a bit. Um, they're kind of just peeking. Um, I don't know. Blue, Blue shouldn't lose any more people right here. Blaze goes down and doesn't trade for somebody. That's bad. He does trade for somebody. Red's Uber goes out. This is actually really nice. Rando jumps up ahead. There's an Uber charge from Blaze in return. Or excuse me, uh, Shade in return. And uh, everybody's kind of just getting covered by it. They're going to be able to hold two. Hopefully Fragile gets out. They've had some trouble. Fragile staying in a little too late on these Ubers. Uh, Servo goes down. Shade being chased down. Oh my god. Decimate. Yeah, reverse rolls. 4G push way too hard off of a good Uber. Yeah, then Arando had a nice arrow shot on an Uber thing, but they're they're pretty beat up right now, so we'll see if they can get this done. Clockwork's gonna go down, but so is Decimate Rando. Blaze gonna die on the point. Got nobody here to stop it, and there we go. So we're gonna go to halftime. Ascent, Ascent in three the to lead. two. Oh God, we've we've seen Ascent. Like just think back to that Badlands game. I knew Ascent. I knew Ascent could do well against this team. We saw them take three rounds in a row and, like, dominate a large part of that game last time. So, uh, you know, is everybody just running up? Oh, jeez, I saw all blue run out. I thought everybody read it up already. So, uh, half time, three to two ascent. Maybe not what people expected, you know. Uh, I don't know. What can you say about that? Pretty good. Pretty good first half. Very long rounds. Yeah, long rounds. This, I mean, this is that's part of the thing about this map is the rounds tend to take a while. And because it's new, last pushing and lobby holding is not really that well understood. Mm -hmm. So some crazier things can happen, and that's just that's endemic of new maps. The process was like this at one point as well. So, yeah. And now it's just the normal thing. Mm -hmm. uh, both teams mid seem okay-ish against each other. Yes. So, well, I mean, they're at least trading that back and forth. It's just these the teams are finding their way into disaster pushes because in this map, like I said last night, when you, when you play medic, this map is actually kind of a unique challenge because there's so much stuff in the way of where you want to move. When you pop Uber on your soldier, he just jumps over it, and you can keep the Uber on him more or less, but you have to like go through this. Ninja Warrior obstacle yeah. course to like, get like, back like, to him. <laughs> yeah, it's like jumping through tires and shit like that. You know, it's it's pretty nasty how much you have to go, to, how much trouble you have to go through to follow your soldier up on there. You know, we we saw it happen to Fragile a lot. Um, and also to add to that, a few of the Ubers started with Rando with maybe a little less health than they'd like as well. So on to add 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 that into the mix, and uh, Fragile was in uh, some uh, positions he probably didn't want to be in. Um, stats wise, you know, that's always fun. Who doesn't like looking at stats? Uh, let's take a bet. Who, who who do you think is leading in damage right now? Uh, I do not know. Blaze. Blaze. 313 Ooh, damage per that. minute. Yeah, not bad with four medics picks right now. So uh, uh, what do we got? We got Blaze. Blaze sitting there at 1821. Good medic picks. He's definitely playing pretty solid roamer. His uh, soldier counterpart, Servo, is not doing too hot. I'm really not sure if he's pocketing or what their situation is in the map but he's only he's 12 for 21 with only 200 damage a minute um shade death wise you know good ratios on both medics you know 11 deaths 23 assists for fragile but, but the two drops 9 for 18 
Yeah, you don't but see we're, that that often. We're live, Buick. Oh, goodness. So, I'm so busy looking <laughs> yeah, at that. It's, I know. It's it's distracting to get lost in there. So we're we're going to go live here. I'll tell the people what happens. Let oh, you get yourself back in. <laughs> Banny's dead. Duwatna and Servo all dead. Fragile going to go down to Blaze, though, our top damager. So not all is lost. Shade's trying to get out. Clockwork on five health. Oh, no. Ned's going to die really late, but he's going to get Mela before he dies. So, I mean... You can put that in your little medic frag video that he'll make when he eventually retires from this game, probably, maybe. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Someday. Yeah, so there's that. I Both teams lost their meds there. Nobody's with Fragile yet, which is really odd. And there he is. Finally, he finds his team and starts building. So they'll end up with, like, 10% advantage when it should have probably had another 10. And we'll yep. see what happens with 4G, because they might assume that Ascent would, uh, you know do the normal stuff, and that Fragile Zuber might be a lot more pronounced than it, it actually is, but it looks like they're just doing their typical thing. Mm-hmm. Just moving up, nobody's really going to get picked there, hopefully. You know, Shrugger and Badonsky, one of those two have got kind of picked in this situation, but uh, Badonsky's kind of, he doesn't really have much backup here. I don't think he's going to get flanked from above. That would be pretty ballsy from Red, especially considering I hear them setting up a, a sentry gun. Um, I don't know, like, we've seen this happen before, do you think they're just going to send Decimate in for a suicide, come back as Sniper? Uh, th th that's a potential plan, you know, we haven't seen any uh, sneaky spy plays yet. Um, I think after Froyotech go losing a half, they don't lose too many halves, after them losing a half, I think they're going to be pretty much actually paying attention with their heads in the game right now. I would find it very odd and rare if a Froyotech player got picked here. Uh, they look to be the ones wanting to do the picking, considering it's Decimate versus Clockwork Sniper. Decimate peaking lower, doesn't really see anybody. Oh, has a clean shot on Servo when he misses there. He needs to hit that right there. Clockwork's kind of getting bounced around, has to move back. Um, I don't know. Now that they know Decimate's down below, if he gets a pick here, I would, I, I, I would be completely amazed. Oh, well, <laughs> he's, there it goes. Oh, oh my god, he he with the rail. Clockwork, you can't let that happen to you. He's not going to be happy with that. There should be a blue Uber coming in right now. There's the gun. They are keeping it on Badonsky pretty smartly. The gun goes down. Fragile is moving back this time. Okay, they realize they didn't get as much as they wanted right there. Um, the only problem is there was a little communication error. As the combo was moving out, maybe perhaps they should have told the rest of their team, or the rest of their team shouldn't have tried to go in for picks. Um, they end up losing three people, and even though Fragile stayed alive, they're going to have to lose the second point right here. There's just too many red players alive. Yeah, that's just not being used to the map mainly, because they, they probably said this Uber isn't working out, Shade has it, and then... The rest of the team just sort of fed in, and now they're all dead. But uh, this Uber out here is not turning out. They have flipped around, and Shade is going to go down here, and it's being recapped by BNSF, and they're going to get it thanks in no small part to the pain train. We have a cannonball duel, but it's going <laughs> to get destroyed by an, a semi-air shot from Blaze. The clockwork ran into the middle of that when those two were completely fighting each other. Clockwork comes in to try to like help his buddy out. He ends up taking a cannonball to the face because of it. And uh, we didn't get to see the uh, melee fight. We were all itching and praying for. Um, Blue is going to move in because look at that damn uber advantage. God, that's juicy. Oh my god, they're sitting almost on 100%. Fragile takes a little bit of damage. Has to be careful. Rotating around to his scout. If this other scout goes down, Banny's so weak. If he goes down, they may be able to roll in here right now. Banny's stone down below. He's going to make it out alive. Uh, Red doesn't have their uber, they need to be careful. Blaze goes for a nice play, ends up getting shotty down by Rando. And um, here we go, Ascent capping two. Um, moving into last with a decent uber advantage. They are down a player. Blaze is still down though, so um, hopefully they move in quickly. Looks like they're going up or right this time. Gonna maybe try to keep the solo uber, hopefully. Uh, Pyro giving Rando a little trouble here. A nice little reflect rocket. Rando says, get out of here, you can't reflect my shotgun, bitch. And he comes out, he comes at him, jumps up top. Shoots another rocket out, it bounces the demo man, and behind the point though, there's a little people guys in some trouble. Rando gets a pick on the medic, Shrugger's still alive, one shot, mmm, does not do it right there. So, uh, they put a lot of effort into getting the pyro, they ended up getting him, but as they were doing that, everybody else was dying. And Shade, they went in to try to get Shade, and he surfed clear across from one side to the other. They still ended up killing him, but... At least he, he teleported from one side to the other almost instantaneously. It looks like they're just going to come straight back in using that respawn advantage. We have a demo trapped out right now, but he's going to save himself. now. maybe not, but not before three BNSF players go down over that uh, aggressive push-in. 
I don't mind that so much, but the spawns are are gonna make this challenging. Shrugger going down there means you really can't re-push now because he's off wave and has a 20 second timer and it may just end up getting worse. Now it stays it stays the same, but uh, it's still bad. <laughs> Uh, Duat coming in, he doesn't really, he's getting, they're getting up their buffs right now, Blaze going for a very big play, good bomb, he's going for Fragile, oh no, Fragile fell down in there, Blaze does not get it, Fragile smartly stays alive, took literally zero damage from that, so not, you know what I kind of like about this holding the second point sometimes, it is kind of frustrating as Medic, but you can always just hide in that little stairwell once a bomber comes in, and usually nine times out of ten you're going to be safe. Yeah, and when you're holding two outside, sometimes you'll see a little, you know, a little gopher come up out of there and try to kill you. Mm -hmm. So it's an interesting place, but we've got Ubers forced out over middle. BNSF's got their Uber. Clockwork's already down. Rando's gonna die. Little questionable there. Decimate gonna go down to Blaze, but still in charge of middle is 4G. Yep, the Blaze playing very well right now. Um, he's completely dominating the frag department. He's jumping in himself, taking a little bit of damage. Shrugger goes down. They got to move out right now. Yeah, Fragile can't even peek here. I don't. I don't want him to take too much damage from rockets. Look at that. But Donsky does not get back. Melee does not get back. It's the Rando Fragile show. They don't have Uber. He's already. He's already getting flanked right now. This is going to end very poorly for them. Uh, Decimate needs to hit a shot. Rando's down. Blue doesn't really have any of their friends here. Oh my god, Fragile stays w out in the open a little bit too long. And because of that, look at this. Look what's on the point. 1x, the spawns are going to come in. Badonski throwing some stickies on there. Soldiers flying in. Melee, if he gets a few picks here, it's going to be really nice for them. Oh god, it's coming down to Shrugger. He needs to get a frag here. Oh no. Oh, they have Medic. Oh, because of the Medic, the Uber charge happens just like that on the point. And my friend, point the Froyo. Kudos to Froyo for keeping that together, Shade, keeping everybody, you know, yeah, what's the word, triage, kept everybody completely healed as they should towards the end there, got Uber because of it, and earned himself a round win. Yep, and that's going to bring us into a tie game. So, looks like we're in for another close one as we were last night, so that's nice to see. Teams coming out to mid, actually coming off a flank now as 4G. A little bit grouped up here. Early damage onto the soldiers. They're going to have to kind of figure out what to do here. Blaze is going to go down. Rando is not too effective, but 4G has no health at all. They yeah. just they just started getting pummeled, and uh, now th all is lost. <laughs> yep, Banny is going for a flank. Oh, he just got the health, and he's going to make it out. I thought he was going to go for a med player right there, but, uh, you know... <laughs> sense too good of a team to like actually let you know not watch cafe at all thank god you know that, that's one thing like they're having they're beefing the last pushes a little bit but uh, outside of that nobody's really getting too many flanks on the fragile which is always a nice asset and boon for the blue team um, we've seen this before hey guys uh, ascent huge uber advantage pushing into last uh, you know should we roll the dice and you know think where they're gonna push from I don't know I'd like to see this right now Yep, but there we go. Badonski's gonna get caught out. That's uh, that's, that's a lot. not good category. So now you've got to decide. You try to how much do you try to stop them? Because 4G ought to want to try something. They're actually just gonna Uber in the ultimate in reverse picks. The clockwork's gonna go down. So Servo the heavy is coming out. He's got to stop this point. He doesn't, and uh, the set wins. So, let Badonski get killed, doesn't matter, Uber in nope. one round anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would have been, been so much easier with your demo, man. You know what, they're just... You know what, they're just winning in style. They're trying to make it hard on themselves. Hey, guys, we're going to get these rounds, but we're going to do it without a demo, man. And, uh, you know, kind of worked out pretty well. So, uh, mid here, right now, 4G is not often put in this position. It is match point for Ascent. So uh, we'll see if 4G comes out guns blazing here at the middle or not. Both soldiers are playing kind of aggressively. Uh, Servo stays back. Blaze goes in. He's on Fragile. Pays off completely. Nobody got Blaze, but uh, they are going to trade for Duwatna on the other side. Uh, underneath, Rando is going to go for a little bit of jump here on Banny. He has Shade in his a vision. Mmm, can only get Shade down to half health. Last one left up, Decimate. We'll see what he can do. One shot, two shot, doesn't get any frags, goes down himself. But, you know, he's he's got to go for it there. It's kind of like a free pick, you know, or a free chance at it. Why not take it? Yep, and this last is proving difficult to push, so... Except for whatever happened with Badonski last time. Awesome. So, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see. They ought to be moving in a little more aggressively. Servo has the right idea, but... Everybody was just standing on the point there. So here we go. 
Should see an Uber soon, maybe, to tie the game. At least that's certainly going to be what they try to do. Shrugger has the seventh player up. It's still an adolescent. And uh, the, the Uber has gone away. Here we are now. So I uh, guess bottom. they wanted to reposition a little closer to the gun. They're going to manage to get it. Clockwork's already dead, though. Damn. I wouldn't <laughs> want my clockwork to be dead. Nope. <laughs> Vela and Shrugger are down. Duwatna is going to go out as well. Shade dead for the cannonballs. Now it's only Banny. He's putting time on, but this isn't Badlands, and he's going to go down to Decimate. Probably going to see a recap here, but it's a little risky. Scout running through the flank right now. Yeah, Clockwork wants to go, and look at him. He's just kind of peeking. He's, he's waiting, like, you know. I saw Jurassic Park today, and he's acting like a raptor right now. He's waiting, you know. What, what, would, game, what would Muldoon say? He'd say, we're being hunted, you know. He'd say that about the raptors, and that's exactly what Clockwork was trying there. Thinks twice of it because he sees, uh, you know, his opponents have bullets and guns this time. So, uh, backs off. And, uh, you know, uh, Banny. Banny versus Bedonski in the middle here. Ban uh, he kind of gets bounced up, goes back. Take, take, oh, God, Bedonski's kind of caught out. He has to be careful. They really could have got Bedonski. Yo, Bedonski gets a double kill on the scouts after that. G Shade is disconnected, too. We've got to be careful here if you're 4G. This, with Servo going down and Shade not having his percent, not being able to get this Uber, this could be it. Like, you know, they're going to be able to get two off of his hands down, but is somebody actually chasing him? No, they're just going to kind of chill out. You know, Badonski has the forward sticky it up. Uh, there's two people in. Are they going to try to get at anybody out there? No, they actually both think better of it. Both scouts who Badonski killed earlier have now back spawned. So uh, what does 4G have to do here? What do they have to do to make sure that this doesn't end? Well, they on the bright side, Ascent, other than accepting the last time they pushed into last, they've had a lot of trouble at this. So I wouldn't be too scared. But this will end an undefeated streak for 4G that has gone on for a year or more. Oh, a long time. I believe, time. Yeah. yeah. So this could be pretty big, nice little TF2 historical note here. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Clockwork has something to say about that, though. Not yet. Not yet, he says, my friends. The, uh, the fat lady is not sung. Clockwork does get a frag. And uh, I think they're kind of just cool with chilling here, because look where Decimate's sniping from this time. I've seen these guys before when they're pushing in the last, uh, you know, they've had Decimate completely up inside the base going for the pick. But uh, I realize they're down a man, so maybe that's why he's not playing that aggressively. But uh, the man that they are down is back, so we'll see if they're kind of trying to edge Decimate in, try to maybe go for the old uh, for the old Deca shot. So uh, he does take one, does not hit anything, coming back for a second one. If he gets any picks here, it's huge. Clockwork challenges him. That's bad. That is Clockwork's impatience could easily lose them this he should not have done that he goes down going for the sniper like you know a squirrel going for a shiny thing and uh we'll see what happens because of it there's a nice uber covering the sniper who is smging the ubered soldier so uh outside of that though we're gonna see what's happening in last so uh, there's two x on the point and that is done just because of that they uber that all started clockwork going in he, can't, he should not have done that he should not have went in for that he got kind of impatient went for the sniper there it was a beautiful bait i think they knew he was gonna do it soldier killed clockwork hey let's move in six on five not bad not bad monumental ascent is beat 4g you know the the, the titans the undefeated titans for x and y years have now lost a match oh crap man what do you got to say about that yeah that's pretty big i'd sad to see it go through a scout pick on last because every time a scout dies on the last hold, this vein in my temple starts to kind of bulge a little bit, and then I get a migraine. <laughs> but I guess that's how the cookie crumbles, eh, be like, Yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%. So, uh, something, you know, uh, we can take a look at uh, some stats in a second, uh, you know, but something, uh, my, uh, let's see, real quick. Uh, why not? Why not? Let's take a look at damage-wise. Rando picking it back up, 324. What else is new? Beautiful damage ends up with the going 34 for 28, so uh, kind of MVP style uh, of game for him. Shrugger playing extremely well again. Just quickly looking at the other side, clock 243 damage, pretty good, frag to death. You know, he's doing 30 for 2 for 30. Banny going 34 for 25, doing as well as he can. Um, Duwatna, you know, playing well, 28 for 19. Um, I don't know, just kind of. Kind of outplayed, 50 to 52k damage to 50, exactly even frags and deaths, 147, but. Um, you know, I, I, could, uh, I can BS about these stats for a long time, but uh, what might be more fascinating is uh, I'm going to try to get some uh, Ascent players in here. I think we've been told, uh, a birdie in my ear says that some Ascent players, uh, we're going to maybe, you know, ask them a few questions, you know, uh, shoot the breeze with them, per se. So uh, let me grab them for a second. Anything, and, and, and anything catch your eye stat-wise about that game? 
Nah, not that we haven't talked about already. I should point out, uh, while we're waiting for the interview, uh, a friend on Steam told me what map it was I was trying to talk about. And it was uh, CP Obscure. It reminds Obscure, me of that. Obscure, I remember that. Yeah, the, that lobby really reminds me of that. Obscure, obscure. I remember, so there was a there was a map even before that. So I forget what map it was. It's when you got to middle, there was a crane holding, suspending a pipe above the middle point, and inside that pipe, or it might have been like a crate, a granary crate, was a health pack too. I, I thought that was the one you were talking about. If anybody remembers that map, kudos to you. But uh, I do remember Obscure now that you mention it. Uh, interesting, interesting map. Uh, and I know we didn't really give it a lot of uh, time here in the uh, American scene, but... Uh, you know. Yo. Yo. So, so. Pocket Soldier, Pocket Soldier, uh, Pocket Soldier, which extraordinaire here. You know, uh, how, how, how does, oh, fo- followed up by his medic right now. So, uh, Pocket Soldier extraordinaire, kind of, you know, uh, with the big D swang and then uh, his uh, medic friend, Mr. Fragile, uh, gentlemen, you know, how does that feel? I mean, you know, I got to ask you the stupid cliche questions, but uh, how... How does this one feel, you know, dethroning Froyo Tech? It's not my first time, so... <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, we knew... I mean, come on, after the first game, you know, you guys played him on Badlands. I, I think I even remember... I mean, I talked to... I, I was talking during postcast. I'm like, you know, I, I know they can do it. I saw them take three rounds in a row on this team. Um, you know, uh, what... What would you say, like, like Randall? What were you just? Were you just? Were you just a fragging machine? What, what was? Was there anything you noticed they were doing poorly? You know, you know, it's, it's just. I mean, you guys performed a lot better. You know, you were much more coordinated. Um, your Ubers were really good. Like, is it just? Is it just kind of outplaying them completely tonight, or? Uh, I don't know. I I felt like we were playing really well. We were calling a lot of shit. People were hyped. They weren't being little. Yeah, that's good. Babies, you know? Ah, so, I mean, it's always good. I'm, I'm sure, you know, when you have a good environment and everybody's hyped, you know, you guys are winning rounds. We all know how that works. Like, you know, it's we, not, it, it like, works. It's, but the environment doesn't go bad if people just get lazy and don't talk. No, oh, even better then. So everybody, you know, you're riding on this one. Everybody's talking to each other. Everybody's calling stuff, um, you know. Nick, Nick were, you, were, uh, were you stressed at all? I mean, were, were they, you know, it, a lot of their suicides, you, it seemed like, like, you weren't even really dying from them going for you. It almost kind of cost them. Like, Blaze would come in for you multiple times. He wouldn't end up getting you. And, uh, you know, they'd end up losing a few points. Was, were, they, were they stressing you out at all trying to suicide? Or? Um, no, because I read most of the suicides very well. I think maybe only one or two at most worked on me. Um, just because they just jumped on me in a position where I had no way of getting out. But most other suicides, I read it, like, far ahead of time, and I got out. Or there were a few times where, like, there was one time where I had Uber, and, like, I I think me, like, two years ago would have popped, but I did a really good job of holding on to it, and that definitely gave us an edge. Um, But, yeah, I clockwork wasn't really on me that much which uh is a fucking blessing yeah Um, it was mostly (laughs) just blaze um and my team did a really good job at protecting me and other times i did a decent job at uh juking and getting out i gotta ask something about the last play so uh decimate uh, what what was the what was where's like a call so you guys are pushing the last he's sniping from behind the point first and is there a point in time when you're just like we're gonna go bait clockwork and push in off it because it worked perfectly like decimate went down sniping with him i think uh melee was down there or random maybe it was you somebody was just watching watching his back like knowing clock was going to come in uh he ran at the sniper and that's you know that's he you guys got the pick right there the fight's a lot easier when it's 5v6 so was was anybody like expecting him to charge decimate if decimate showed his eyes down there I wasn't expecting to, to like run it in, but I mean, pushing last on that map is really hard, especially with the changes. This version is much worse than the last one. Yeah, I did notice that. Is that like, um, like, is, is it? Were you guys just getting too disconnected? Like, like pu- pushing last for both teams, like you know, for four G and sometimes when you guys are pushing last, is it just like def- a big defender's advantage? You think? Like, what what has made the map? maybe a little harder to push into last? Is it like the bar up above where you can hide now? or I don't know. Uh, that's more of a question for Matt than me, because I don't, sure. you know, I'm never jumping on the bar. No, I, I guess you don't really need to do it. You don't, you don't really have much no. reason for that there. So uh, I did see the uh, century, a uh, few sentry gun plays. They worked okay too. So 
Matt, no complaint there. Dis- Matt's reconnecting, I guess. Yeah, dis- disconnected, all right. reconnected. All right, Hi. I don't know what my my internet. So all yeah. that shit on the right side, awful. Needs yeah. to go. But the boxes, everything needs to go. That was terrible change. And then being able to shoot the point from spawn as any class is yeah. really, like a terrible change. I don't know whoever would have thought that would be a good idea. <laughs> But it's more like classic snake water now. Oh, God. Yeah. So, um, now, you guys know. Are you even that... still streaming? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, right, our stream went down for me. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's just my internet. So, um, you know, I don't know. You, got, you guys beat them. Like, I knew you could do it after the first map. Um, now, moving forward, you know, like, like I talked about last night during the cast when you guys played $5 Club, and uh, tonight, you know, a lot of people, and I think maybe expect, potentially, if we don't get a nice little European team together to challenge you guys, we may have seen right now what the finals at I-55 could have been, so, do, do, or can be. Do you guys, you know, do you think... I mean, I even talked about before the game. So before this game started, like I, that's got to play into it a little bit. Like who? This is the last time you guys get to like face each other before I fifty five in like an official fashion per se. It's it's got to feel good being up one nothing. You know, the game before the big tournament. I mean, we're tied one one now. So yeah, I guess I guess you are tied one one. But you know, it, it's a momentum type thing. I, I guess they're going to be wanting revenge. You know, you, you give them bulletin board material and stuff like that. So uh, I don't know. I mean, if anything, you guys being tied one one would kind of make for a beautiful final at I fifty five. You know, for uh, all the marbles per se. So I mean, we still have the ESCA playoffs to deal with. Uh, so. That's true. I, I see. I eat my so you guys probably unless like you both get knocked out by two lower teams right off the bat, you probably are going to be facing each other in that again too. So uh, the ESCA playoffs do happen before I fifty five. I need to keep that in mind. So uh, you'll be seeing each other again there. So hmm, what can you say? You know. Um, something I want to remind everybody to check out uh, these fine these fine gentlemen right here who've taken the time to talk to us about their uh, recent dethroning. Um, you know, we 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 still in regards to getting our teams over there to take the crown. You know, uh, both the teams that you saw tonight uh, do still need community's help. So any funds donations i fifty five dot tf uh, are extremely appreciated. I know these guys, I think these guys have earned it. You know, uh, come on. How long have we watched, like, f- people were complaining for the past few seasons. Yeah, 4G just wins. You know, I don't even want to watch TF2 anymore. 4G's going to win again. Just, these guys actually changed that in a me- regular season match. Like, if that doesn't deserve some kind of boon or boost in funds to get them to Europe, I don't know what does. So, you know, mm, i55.tf, my friends. Yeah, we appreciate any and all donations. It's super awesome, and we're we're really close. And as I tweeted out earlier, we're uh, for anyone because I know a handful of people has uh, have expressed before that they wanted uh, ascent jerseys. Uh, they are running out uh, quickly, so if anyone wants an ascent jersey, there are very few left. So you better hop on that uh, as soon as possible. And they do look pretty. They do look very nice. So that's pretty damn cool, fellas. Pretty damn cool. Um, I don't know, like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give each of you, you know, if you want to say, oh, you know, you did it, it's done, uh, chalk, chalk, chalk a victory up in the books for you guys, so uh, moving forward, what are you, like, w- what are you going to focus on now? You know, I, you, you're obviously in the ESEA playoffs, so, you know, are you guys going to continue to, like, it's got to be kind of still scrimming like normal, you know, I, right after ESEA does come I-55, so, I don't know. Yeah, um, we, have to, we have a few weak maps that we need to work on. Yeah, we're still going to scrim as much as we normally do. Yeah, like we're, I mean, even some of the maps that we played on earlier in the season, um, we're still, even if we came out with wins in that week, we still aren't 100% confident um, in some of our mids and some of our holds on those maps. So after the season is over, um, like I guess during, or before and after playoffs, um, it's going to be, you know, crunch time when it comes down to looking at all of our maps and uh, making sure that we're, uh, as best as we can possibly be in all of them, because uh, yeah, we despite that win, as as cool as that was, we we still have a lot of work to do. Like uh, I mean, all of us that match, we made mis- mistakes. Like sure. I made a handful of mistakes. Um, and ev- but still, everyone played really well on our team. But like we still made a lot of mistakes to the point where like if we were really, really, really just fucking perfect, that would have been like a five-one 
Because yeah. there was that one, there was that one round where they just rolled us at mid, and then you know we got wiped. But like we, it, it as I said, like early in the season, us versus Froyo right now is just a lot about who is making more mistakes. Because I feel like both teams are are fairly even right now, yep. so uh, we still have a lot to work on. But it still, uh, it's really awesome. Yeah, I got you know like just once again, congratulations to you, uh, fine gentlemen. Um, I don't know. You got anything for them, Marxists? Nah, I feel like we went through pretty much everything we could talk <laughs> think... about <laughs> because <laughs> we. This has been a rather long interview for our uh, for our post game interview <laughs> setup. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. Yeah. If we if we hit fifty five hundred dollars, there's gonna be some mad drama. So, guys, you should donate. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You hear that? There you go, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen who tune in. Fifty five hundred bucks. We got some mad drama. You know. So. Nah. How bad do you want to see it, and how how close to to that are you going to get? Mm-hmm. Exactly. To be honest, I, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure what. Yeah, there's no say. drama. So okay, I, I can make some up. I can, <laughs> I can make some up, but sure. So I don't know. I I got I got nothing more. There might be an oil baron watching right now who would gladly give you that. Yeah, I'll just drop all that money. You know what I mean? No. So cool, 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 cool. So um. I don't know. I got nothing more, Marxist. Yeah, so no we'll more. give them the uh, rando and uh, fragile. This is the portion of the show where you get to say whatever you want to uh, whoever. So have at it. Go ahead, Matt. Uh, I just want to thank everyone that's donated. Thank you very much. You know, it means a lot to me and the team. That's it. And that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Okay. Well, I would also like to thank uh, everyone who's donated. Um, Pre, uh, so far, more than more than Rando thanks them. Like I care more than he does. Um, so thank all of you even more. Um, and uh, a a big shout out to um, you know, just all the cats ever. Just even even if there's some sassy cats, uh, it's still a shout out to them. Specifically, a shout out to my cat. <laughs> all right, you got anything, Buick? No, oh, man. Good game, good cast. Thank you, gentlemen, for uh, showing us uh, some good high level TF2. All right, yep. so here we'll, we'll go wrap it up. Uh, congratulations to Ascent for throwing 4G off their throne again. They did it a few seasons ago, and here we are again now on Sunshine. So for Marbler, Buick, and myself, and Team Fortress TV, thanks for watching, and have a good night.